Good morning, guys. We are taking the Tahoe. We're going up to Ventura to Ventura Cars and Coffee. Uh, it's a gorgeous drive, a uh, spectacular view today. This is vlog 883, 883 vlogs. We're closing in on a thousand, very exciting. Let's go take a look at some cool cars, shall we? to the coffee bean. Uh, there's a fair amount of cars. Let's go check out, not a huge turnout so far, but it's still early, a couple of rows. Looks pretty good. Cars are way too clean. Oh look, Johnny's here. Fireball. The show can begin now. Fireball too. <laughs> I think I almost went it's so clean. It's there, he's got 10,000 miles in one year. This is a driver, man. This morning. Ventura Cars and Coffee, uh, the place to be this morning because um, there's no other place we'd rather be. Exactly. With coffee and cars, it's awesome. But you have a Mercury, you have a, a 47? 50. It's a 50, okay. And it's uh, quite nice, it was built up here in Ventura. Yes. Uh, yes. Tell me a little bit about this car. Uh, it's, it's pushing a 360 Chrysler, automatic, power brakes, power steering, mm -hmm. rewired, space been all gone through, yeah. air, air suspension. Is everything is top notch. Looks good, Jerry. What do you think? It's another day in paradise. <laughs> and you would never sell this car ever unless the price is right. Duh. Exactly. <laughs> As we know. So uh, if you guys like this car, if anybody's out there yeah. that likes this car, uh, yeah. hook up with this guy. Where, where can people find you online so if they, uh, they want to? Bill Rizzi at yahoo.com. Okay, simple. All right. It's easy. Let's take a look. All right.
this is Lonnie. We are at Ventura Cars and Coffee still. Amazing cars. And then you rolled in. I could hear you before I saw you. Okay. Which was very nice. Tell me about the car. What do you got in this? It's a 1965 uh, Chevelle Super Sport. Uh, we took out the 327. We have it in the garage and put a 383 stroker in it. Um, 700 R transmission, sure in the rear end. Um, it's, got, it's all bags all the way around. All bags all the way around. Yeah. Full disc brakes. Yeah. Full woods all the way around. Shaved uh, grill. Uh, what, custom what are you going to do with that other motor? The other motor is going to stay there with the car. So okay. Because you can turn that into a table or something. No. No. <laughs> no, it sits in the garage. This is sweet. This is sweet. How long have you had this car? Um, well, I, it was my grandfather's car. He drove it off uh, the showroom floor. And, wow. So. Since new? Yes, yeah, since new. Wow. In the family. Very, very cool. Let's take a look. growing exponentially lots more cars have shown up some great stuff everywhere people are having a great time celebrating post Christmas and pre New Year's there's a couple of orange buddies right here in something that's um it looks like you sacrificed a lot just for the size of the turbo like you sold the hood i still have the hood it's just not on right now because um it's a 454 it's uh basically a stock block we did aluminum rods and uh like jade pistons and forge crank and everything yeah Right now we're on about nine pounds of boost. It's making over 1,250 horse. Jesus, what's okay. the size of the turbo? It's a 106 millimeter precision. So, so it's small. It's well, it's one of the smaller. It's one of the smaller ones. They got bigger yeah. ones now. They're up to 123 yeah. millimeter and bigger. So yeah. But this was the biggest turbo they had back in the day in like 06. And yes. 07. And is this your job? Is this what you do? No, it's one of my jobs. Yes. I'm okay. also do heating and air conditioning. As well. Okay. Uh, my shop is called Motivation. I'm here in local Ventura. I've been open. Uh, on and off for the last 18 years. Nice. Um, just reopened again, and we're still doing builds and engine builds and things like that. Yeah, so. kind of extreme, man. Great yeah, job for sure. Thank you very much. Very cool.
car? Hey. Are you a driver? No, he's right there. Unfortunately, my buddy Bobby, he was driving this Impala. As he was pulling out, he pulled up the, up the street and blew a tire, went around a tree. Not good. So I decided I'm not taking that Lincoln with me. Uh, it's got a few issues with it, so I'm gonna take the 38 Ford. I'm gonna grab that, drive that back south. PCH and we pulled off to uh, take the dogs on the beach for a little bit and we got this entire beach to ourselves. There's nobody here. There's tons of cars going down PCH. Everyone's out for a drive today because it's so beautiful but uh, the beach is totally open. bummed about Bobby's car. Uh, very sad. Bobby's an amazing guy. Super nice guy. And, uh, you know, cars and coffees are great places to go and show them off, but when you have a car that's got the amount of work that he's put into it, uh, it's sad to see it, you know, something happen to it. So, hopefully he'll put it back together. If not, he'll work on something else. The only thing that matters is that he's okay, and uh, that's, that's important. Today, uh, ended up being a rather interesting day on a lot of levels. You know, it's important that in the morning that you set your intention that you're, you're going to have a good day despite the things that may uh, come to you, the things that may occur, the difficulties, the challenges. If you set an intention in your mind in the morning that you're going to have a great day and that good things are going to happen, um, even if something like a car accident where you, you screw up your car and you're just, you have a situation where it's, uh, you've lost something, uh, even that kind of situation can be augmented by the fact that your attitude is good uh, and things don't look as bad as they seem. It, you know, it's, it is a car and it was worth a lot and uh, I'm sure Bobby's uh, if feeling it right here or here or you know, a number of different things, but he always struck me as a positive guy, as someone that, that kind of rolls with punches. Uh, he's been around for a while. As Shakespeare or somebody said, uh, things are have no meaning, basically. They're not good or bad, but thinking makes them so. It's how you perceive the world. The way in which you look at things is what they become to you. And, and uh, you know, I've been in situations like uh, what Bobby's gone through. I'm sure a lot of you guys have, where you've lost something, where it's been difficult. And your attitude makes a difference because that's going to parlay. That's going to, that's going to, uh, kind of shift the way you look at things over the next few days, the next few weeks and months, and, and result in good things. Another thing that happened today is I found out, uh, you guys have seen John Grafman here on the, the vlog many times, uh, the Grafman. Uh, I found out today that his, his father died, uh, unfortunately. Uh, he had, uh, had Alzheimer's like my mom did and, uh, and had been going out for quite some time. So I hope you guys will send him some love and uh, 
uh, some understanding that it's it's difficult to lose somebody. Like my mom, uh, had been coming for a long time, so uh, you kind of those of you that have been through Alzheimer's or been through dementia, things like that, uh, you know that it's a it's a long haul, and there's a combination of bereavement and relief that happens in a situation like that. So that happened today also. But we're wrapping up the day with something positive. The kids are coming over, and uh, we're going to celebrate Christmas today because, as I mentioned, you guys know uh, I've been sick for a little while. Feel really good today chipper and we're gonna have a great evening we're gonna have a spectacular evening but uh, I'm gonna talk to you guys in the next vlog about resolutions and about and all that kind of nonsense that you know diets and all that kind of baloney because if you put something out there into the world and you want it to stick it, you have to emotionalize it you have to make it important you have to make it intense and we're gonna I'm gonna show you guys how to do that and part of that an important part of that is to do what you love and to love what you do so set an intention this year for 2019 to do what you love and love what you do, to find a way to identify that and to share that passion with other people. You'll create mondo amounts of happiness in your life, guaranteed. That's all I got for today. It was great to see some of you guys at Ventura Cars and Coffee. Always fun to hang out and we will see you all very soon.